Hi everybody, I'm going to walk you through how you might set up HubSpot to automatically assign new SQLs to members of the sales team. In this case, we're going to walk through an example where you have sales teams who are part of different regions and you need to assign leads to specific team members. So in HubSpot, an automation is called a workflow. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is navigate to workflows. Um, this will either be labeled under the automation uh, part of your navigation or as workflow directly. Now let's start by discussing the update contact lifecycle stage to sales qualified lead. This workflow detects when a contact meets our sales qualified criteria. In essence, maybe they've clicked a marketing email or they've downloaded a white paper or a specific guide. Um, you, can, I'll, you can set that directly as the enrollment trigger, or what I've done in this case is create a list. So as we, there's two approaches here. So as you create more guides, um, more forms, you might automatically add that form label to the list. Or if you have a standard naming convention, that is probably your best bet there. So this workflow is pretty standard. In essence, once they meet the enrollment criteria, you're going to set the property value as a sales qualified lead. This is the first step before you actually can go and assign that sales qualified lead to a specific team member. So once a contact has become a sales qualified lead, they're all, they will automatically be enrolled into this next workflow. The workflow will first check if the contact owner is known. So for example, maybe you have done a manual list import and the contact already exists, but they haven't been assigned a contact owner, uh, you'll, they would fall under this path. This typically happens when you're migrating from one platform to HubSpot. Um, there's a few other use cases as well. Now, if they don't have a contact owner, the workflow then checks if they are a UK or US contact. So this is what I talked about when you have sales teams for multiple regions. Here, UK SQLs are rotated between your three team members or whoever many team members they are. And then a task is created for that contact owner to reach out to them through email, call, whatever your preferred uh, form of communication is. Now, if they're US based, you potentially have two different sales teams, one for the East Coast or Midwest and potentially another for the West Coast. So here the workflow just checks for the state and will assign the contact owner to the correct uh, individual. Now, what happens if their state is not registered and so we don't know where in the US they're from. In this case, it'll just rotate evenly between your two sales reps or however many that you have. Now the workflow ends on the same action, which is create new SQL, first name and last name and assign it to the contact owner. Here, the contact receives a message saying they've been assigned a new SQL and they need to review and follow up. Now that's pretty much it for the whole process. Um, I hope you found this helpful and let me know if you have any questions.